Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I am Fiery Red Hero 8, and Mario is already asleep. Way to start the episode, Mario. I actually think I might try to, you know, test out Miss Mouse from now on. I don't know, I just thought about it because one of her attacks actually pierces defense, so it won't matter what defense is. And stop it, squeaky chair. We are going to power her up because I've got four shine sprites. So let's go ahead and do that. Yes, you shall. But anyway, how are you guys doing? It is a lovely Friday night, and I will be posting this directly after recording it. It's been a long day, but a pretty good day nonetheless. I am just, you know, I'm in a good mood. I just completed my intensity work, or intensity, insanity workout for the day, but it wasn't really a big workout. It was more just like a stretching kind of thing, but I feel so weird because it's like you try to do it. Obviously, your body's not going to do it right the first time, but... You know, I feel like, oh, my tummy's in the way. I can't do this. I can't do that. And I'm just like, okay, fine, whatever. We're still going to do it. I still feel good that I finished it, though. It's better than giving up. Anyway, that's how I feel. And I'm sticking to it. And, um, actually, I'm going to say that, um, today's, yeah, today's going to be Friday. Tomorrow's going to be Saturday. Well, it's already going to probably be Saturday by the time you get this, but, um, Mr. Tim Bell in the comments of yesterday's video asked about me streaming so um, I'm probably gonna be doing some streaming of Pikmin 3 so I would just um, say check out my twitch um, between 10 30 and 11 30 tomorrow night I don't know how soon or how long it's gonna be because I got to be up Sunday morning to record more thousand year door so we'll see how everything goes but Pikmin 3 is cute it's adorable I've never played Pikmin before so it should be fun but anyway let's get on with today why am I going over there I don't want to go to Glitzville Got another email. Okay, I keep getting emails, but I don't, maybe I should check them, but... I feel like if it's just important that it would just pop up for reals, but... All I ever think about is how this train cuts through the wind as it races across plains. Like a torpedo on Earth, slicing through the relentless winds. Doesn't it just fire you up inside? I don't have the money yet, but my dream is to one day ride this train. Aw, oh, poor guy. This train is bound for luxurious Poshley Heights. Will you be boarding today? Actually, no, not yet. Um, I want to talk to somebody over here. There must have been so many heartfelt reunions on this very spot. Ah, oh, it's just deep, man. I love the thought of it. I think I'm going to cry. Yeah, okay. Well, let's go ahead and start. We have a train ticket. I think, yeah, there's going to be a shop on the train anyway. Spoilers. If you don't mind, please allow me to check your ticket. And, of course, we have a badge thief with us. I'm sure that looks wonderful and promising. Watch your step, please. All aboard! God, I just had a flashback to, like, daycare. We used to always, like, we had, a, like, a pirate ship. It was, a, we had so many things to play with on this playground. I remember it so well. And, I, do we have a train? Yeah, we did have a train, and I always wanted to drive it. At three years old, I had to drive the train at, at playtime. But even more so, just getting on the ship, we would always, like, be like, Tickets, please! Like, we were so cool. Man, that playground was the shiz -nit. And I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to keep my microphone on my desk as opposed to putting it on a tray in front of me to see how that works out. So we'll see how the commentary goes. I mean, you might hear my chair squeak back and forth. But anyway, chapter six, three days of excess. Well, excess of anything can be bad. And of course, this is an RPG. So nothing good must come of this. Yeah, I'm going to have to move in closer so you guys can hear me. Okay. Mario's room. Hmm. The Excess Express. Now this is what I call traveling in style. The three days to Poshley Heights will be over before we know it, dearie. Hmm. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Got a bunk bed. Hmm. There's something on the floor. Trash, perhaps? When did that get there? I don't know. She's so cute, the way she walks. Don't go to Poshley Heights. Get off the train now, or a sticky, yummy doom awaits it. Uh-oh. Of course. Mm, what a strange threat. Do you think that Beldum woman might be behind it? Well, at any rate, the fact that the note is here means that the culprit is on the train. We must find this ne'er do well before he, can, he or she can hatch a plan. You're right, we should. You know what? Even though you're a badge thief, you're still pretty cool. Another shine sprite. I will take it. 
kind of like elevatory music. Very uniform like area. So yeah, I think there's there's several different compartments. Let's check them out. Empty room. Oh, there's nothing here. This room can be of importance and it can be a do or die kind of a thing, but I'm that's all I'm going to say on that. Hello. Whoa, that's a big toad. What's up? Hey, hello there. You know, I used to dream of one day getting to ride on this train. And now I finally got to take it. Dreams do come true. Yep, dreams do come true. Is there something up there? No, it's just the bed. Okay. Well, that's pretty much that. Okay, what's going on over here? Let's go check it out. Green! Green's a nice color. Of course, I get to be in the red district because I'm fucking fiery red hair. Oh, wait. That's what it is. Okay, I'm sounding really dumb right now. Well, hello there, you ducky debonair dish of a man, you. You smashing, dear. What's this? A witch? Well, people have certainly said that I'm possessed of an enchanting aura. But you're the first person to remark so boldly on my bewitching beauty, dear. Okay, I don't know if it was English or Russian or something in the middle, but whatever. Okay, you're a snob. And who's this? Oh, it's Justin Bieber Toadstool! Haha! <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. Okay, that's probably gonna really clip the volume there. Hey, guy. You know, th yeah, you know this, but I'm the absurdly famous movie star Zip Toad. Okay, well, I still like Justin Bieber Toadstool, so that's what you're gonna be. Justin Bieber Toadstool. I'm gonna shoot this little multi-billion dollar art flick in Poshley Heights, yo. Oh, and uh, I only sign autographs for cute chicks. Sorry about that, guy. Well, you got a cute little chick mouse right next to you. Give her the autograph. Nah, Mario's too cool for you anyway. What is that? Can we, door may not be open while the train is well duh I just figured I would check it anyway well, okay because I like exploring I really haven't played this far into the game very often but that, that's the case with a lot of games that I play greetings welcome to the XS Express I'm what is called the train engineer our po opulent journey to Poshley Heights will take approximately three days and how do you find your accommodations are they not incredibly splendid our furnishings will delight the eye but the sway of our locomotive delights all else all else. So let's all hear it for the XS Express. Huzzah, huzzah. Okay. But yes. So. I am liking this. The music, I don't know how I feel about it, but I mean. Actually, I think that Poshley Heights has the same music, so it's kind of eh. But what, what do you expect? Alright, so. I'm trying to think. When all I'm thinking about right now, this is so bad. I'm thinking of Tamadachi Life, because I don't have that game. And I was thinking, oh, I don't want it, I don't need it. And then, of course, I downloaded a demo. And I was like, oh, shit. But they only give you, like, ten minutes worth of good stuff to do. And then, it, you know, basically, it stops, stunts you right there. And then you want to have to buy it. I don't have the money right now. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the dining car, where you eat and stuff. Some people take this train just so they can eat at our, eat our yummy, yummily fabulous food. Oh, there's a fish chef. That's cute. And this trip, we have a super famous actor on board. It's Justin Bieber Toadstool. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm totally swooning. I so hope he comes here to eat soon. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, whatever. Hello, I am Chef Shimi, the culinary expert. Glad to make your complaintance. <laughs> uh, I mean acquaintance. So sorry. Cheap Cheap is my first language, you know. Today's lunch is so amazing, it will make your tongue cry out in shame. Why does that mean it's spicy? Please do taste it so that my passion does not wither alone in a pot of loneliness. Can we taste it? That would be awesome if we could. There's a shiny stove here. It's been polished to a brilliant luster. Oh, that sucks. I can't eat it. There are dozens of unusual spices crowded into a small rack here. That is so cute. Yay! We get to go shopping! Cool. Bushi... Thunder, okay, Thunder Rage is cool. Let me see, I'll take that. I will take one of these, just for the hell of it. Oh, damn it. Oh, screw you. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't really think, yeah, you really don't do a lot of battling on the train, though. So I wouldn't worry about that. You you should be fine. Okay. Yeah, I'm just more or less exploring now. Uh-oh, it's just like the original Paper Mario. We have a penguin detective. I'm on my way back home. I have strayed so long, I have forgotten what it looks like. Oh, well, that kind of sucks, yeah. You never want to be too far from home for too long. 
Or just away from home too long in general. Oh, hey, you. Me? I have a very important deal to attend to once we arrive in Poshley Heights. I'm traveling on business, so everything else goes on the expense account. Yes! Cool. That is kind of neat. Okay, we're almost done. Oh, look, it's the Babam family from Glitzville! Oh, you are the champion of the Glitz Pit, are you not? Yes, the Great Gonzales. Bound for Poshley Heights? Well, it is certainly a fitting place for a celebrity like you. We can en route to Poshley Heights to buy... We are en route to Poshley Heights to buy a birthday present for little Bub here. Um, my, my, my. Okay, what do you want for your birthday? Yeah, I'm Bub, and we're gonna get a birthday present for me, and it'll be cool. Aren't you jealous? Not really, but, you know, I'll play along, because you're a little kid. Hello to you, and welcome to the XS Express. I am the conductor of this train. And I trust you must be Mr. Mario from Room 5. Make yourself at home, sir. What's that? Some sort of sticky, yummy threat? I see. Good gracious me. If I hear anything else, I will let you know immediately. Well, that kind of doesn't help. Okay, so any one of these guys. we got the Babam family, some businessman, a detective... Okay, a Justin Bieber fan, waitress, the chef, the toad shopkeeper, he just looks like a normal- Wait, what the hell is this? I thought I was going to have a nice lunch on my expense account. Rats! This is truly unfortunate. Almost tragic, really. Uh, what's going on? Hmm, yes. I can say without the slightest hesitation that this smells like a case to me. But what shall we call it? That is the question before us. Yes, what to call it? Yes, the case of the pot and s of supper stew that vanished suddenly and mysteriously. Could you narrow it down just a little bit? Indeed. That will do nicely. Hmm. My dear train passengers, this is a full-fledged mystery. One that impacts you all. What? A mystery? A mystery, you just said? And, uh, exactly what kind of dish is that? Uh, I can't even tell who's speaking. I am known as Pennington. You likely would not guess it, but I am a detective. Oh my god. At the risk of immodesty, you might say I have a certain nose for these things. I don't think so, pal. I think that uh, Miss Mouse would have more of a nose for stuff than you. And this little conundrum, my dear fellow passengers, poses no challenge to me. Ooh! The central clue of this case, and also the most vital one as it happens is that our perpetrator took the whole pot stew and all. And this esteemed fiends leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. What? Why her? What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have like no idea what you're talking about. Um, pardon me. Sorry, you please accept my apologies, you, my dear woman. Okay, jumping to conclusion, something a detective normally does not do at all. I felt I needed to practice my accusation skills, you understand. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you are totally stupid. You know you fucked up. <laughs> Very good. Now, let us get serious, shall we? This, I believe, will be a case worthy of my intellect. Hmm, yes. Yes. Let me get this straight. So, what we know so far is that we don't know who the culprit is. And, uh, I guess that's about it, right? <laughs> Way to catch on. Aw, oh, this scene is for total squares. Forget you guys. I'm going back to my room. Hmm. You there. In a bit of a hurry to get back to your room, eh? You, sir, are highly suspicious. I don't think Justin Bieber Toadstool is really going to eat that stuff, whatever it is. Well, I mean, he might not have eaten the whole pot. I have just broken this case. The true culprit, I believe, is Zip Toad, the actor. Zip Toad? The Zip Toad? The, you mean Justin Bieber? No! No way, Mr. Detective Person, would Justin Bieber Toadstool be the culprit. I saw I've been watching him all day, and he has not been eating that stuff. You're just making stuff up. You, you Tweety Geezer? Tweety Geezer. Geezer? I can't say I deserve such a verbal thrashing, but, well then, who did it? Who did do it, hmm? Hmm. <laughs> this puzzle deepens with every confounding step. Well, if we got out of the kitchen and looked around for it, maybe that would help you. I swear. Hmm. Okay. Well, I already know who it is. 
and we can see the tracks here. Let me see. Actually, there's a question mark. A clue. There are traces of something on the carpet. No shit. Oh, hang on. This looks like spilled stew on the carpet. How marvelous. We can just follow the drops to the thief. It might even be the same person that wrote the sticky, yummy threat, dearie. What makes me say that? It takes a thief to find a thief, sweetie. Exactly. See? She would know. Aha! Who else would be eating a whole pot of something? Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want? Burp. I can't burp. Shit. Sorry about that. No. Now. What were you just saying? A pot from the kitchen? Oh, I get it. Food gets stolen and you blame the chubby guy. Not nice. What? Drops of stew on the floor outside? No, I wouldn't know anything about that. No, people spill stuff. And there's nothing in the drawer, so no need to look. You won't find a thing. Okay, dumbass, you just told me where it is. Several gourmet magazines. And one of them is an issue devoted to the food of the XS Express. There's a large photo of Chef Shimi on the car on the cover. There's something under the magazines. You think you'd smell it. The galley pot. Damn, the whole thing is empty. Don't! I'm sorry, I ate it all. It was me! We kind of figured. So, you were so enamored of the stew that you wanted to steal it to devour more? And you stole the entire pot when the chef was chopping shallots? Answer! Yes, yes, that's right. I'm so sorry, but it was a brief moment of weakness. Stupid, stupid, stupid! Well, food can be an instant gratification, psychologically. And I can attest to that. Justice has been served. Very satisfying. May this terrible crime never recur. Yeah, what are you gonna cuff him? And you, my dear sir. Yes, you with the unkempt facial hair. My keen sleuthing instincts identified you as the correct person to call the ruffian. Now, about that note in your room. Yes, I know of it. As the lone detective on this train, the conductor confided in me. But we cannot speak here. Find me in room six so that we may discuss this in private. Yeah, right in front of the, right in front of the chubby toad there, you have to go and say everything. Oh, and please return to the pot to the chef, if you could. Of course, we have to do everything around here because if you were in charge, nothing would get solved. And everybody would be arrayed. Dumbass. But yay, happy elevator music is back. Alright, room six. Didn't he say that? No, he's I don't even remember. Anyway, let's go back and return the pot to the chef. Well, how are you doing? You found the bad guy? That's so totally amazing! Okay. So, you found the beef. Or wait, I mean the thief. I am joyful. Ah, sir, you are the hero of my world. You mu you have even brought my pot. It is empty, of course. But it is mine and I love it. Thanks to you. From me! Here is just a little taste of my powerful gratitude. Please fake it. <laughs> oh, I must butcher this language so, so shameful. Please take it to me. Yay, star piece! Awesome. All right, then. So with that, we shall end the day by saving. And I will catch you guys in the next episode of Thousand Year Door. And if you want, you can also catch me on my Twitch at between 1030 and 11 p.m. 1130 p.m. tomorrow night. And we will play some Pikmin 3 and just have some fun. Peace out.